beautiful, unique, complex, and vibrant. Hi, I'm Wengel. I would like to paint a picture of Ethiopia for you, my perspective, what has shaped me and what continues to shape me. A land of contrast, rich with resources, yet lots of challenges, beautifully diverse, yet always the same narrative sense of community yet division this is my ethiopia my heritage <laughs> ethiopia has a rich powerful history a leader in civilization modern ethiopia traces part of its history back to the aksumite dynasty a kingdom so great that it rivaled the roman empire the Aksumite dynasty is a major empire of the ancient world. The kingdom of Aksum arose in Ethiopia during the first century. The wealthy African civilization thrived for centuries, controlling a large territorial state and access to vast trade routes linking the Roman Empire to the Middle East and India. Aksum, the capital city, was a metropolis with a peak population as high as 20,000. Aksum was also known for its elaborate monuments and written scripts, as well as for introducing Christianity to the rest of Sub-Saharan Africa. Ethiopia is a religious country and Ethiopia has been mentioned in a few scriptures, holy scriptures. According to a survey taken by the PEW Research Center in 2018, Ethiopians perceive religion as very important. Actually, 98% of the population believed that to be true. Yeah. Speaking of religion, Rastafari is known all over the world, but some people don't even know the connection it has with Ethiopia. Rastafari is a religion that was developed in Jamaica during the 1930s. Rastafarians believe in the Judeo-Christian God and call him Jah. They believe Christ came to earth as a divine manifestation of Jah. Some Rastafaris believe that Christ was black while many focus on Emperor Haile Selassie of Ethiopia as the black messiah and rebirth of Christ. Let me show you a video that I took when I visited the Rastafaris in Shashamane, Ethiopia. Here I am with my Nadella <laughs> and um, I didn't know I was supposed to you know wear a scarf and wear a dress uh, but they were kind enough to give me this for now to cover myself and I went inside to visit the church and I heard a lot of new information even about Emperor Haile Selassie. Marcus Gavi was born in Jamaica started a newspaper company where he told us about the crowning of his majesty he said, look to Africa where a king shall be crowned from him shall come your redemption. And he left Jamaica and went to America and he had the largest mass movement of black people within America. He said, if you have no confidence in self, you are twice defeated in the race of life. With confidence you have won, even before you have started. <laughs> These are just a few languages that we use in Ethiopia. We have over 80 tribes that have their own unique languages. Yes, that's a lot. Ethiopia has over 110 million of population. And for the most part, we have coexisted peacefully. Now, let's talk about the big A the Battle of Adwa. The colonizers were kicked out of Ethiopia because our people came together and won the Battle of Adwa. 
In 1896, Italy wanted to colonize Ethiopia as the scramble for Africa was on. But they were not successful. On the 2nd of March, 1896, the people of Ethiopia came together to defeat the colonizer. This victory is celebrated on the 2nd of March every year by Ethiopians. And this famous victory inspired hope and gave energy to future independence across Africa. Some argue that Ethiopians started being a little bit skeptical of foreigners after this battle because they were not sure who to trust because the Italians tried to bamboozle the king and the queen by making them sign a bogus term and contract and that's when the battle happened and Ethiopia won the battle. So I'm not sure if this is a good or bad thing but we clearly continued with that path because Ethiopia has a closed market up until recently. And now let's talk about one of my favorite things about my country, community and society. We're very big on community. You can see it reflecting through the food that we eat. We share the same plate. We call it gursha. We feed one another from the ceremony that you'll see when we're having coffee. We have to have it together. That's the best time for a lot of let's say people housewives and girls boys come together to drink coffee in order to have that sense of community that's when the gossip happens that's when people tell each other stories so we're very big on community and coming together and doing things together this is the color of my country Arangwade Beach Kai I just said green yellow and red Green represents productivity of our land. The yellow represents hope for a better country for all Ethiopians. And the red represents the blood Ethiopians shed to build their country. And lastly, blue represents peace that all Ethiopians pray for. The Ethiopian flag has inspired other African nations flags but also the pan-african flag even though ethiopia is going through some tough times i believe we will overcome this and regain our glory beautiful diverse complex unique that is my ethiopia my country my heritage <laughs>